Spit or sputum comes out suddenly, then one should spit in the corner of one's garment. Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet peace be upon him saw expectoration on the wall of the mosque in the direction of the Qibla and scraped it off with his hand. It seemed that he disliked it and the sign of disgust was apparent from his face. He said, if any one of you stands for offering prayer, he is speaking in private to his Lord or his Lord is between him and his Qibla. Therefore, he should not spit towards his Qibla, but he could spit either on his left or under his foot. Then he, peace be upon him, took the corner of his sheet and spat in it, folded it, and said, Or, do like this. Chapter on preaching of the Imam to the people regarding the proper offering of a salah, the prayer, and the mention of the Qibla, Garba at Mecca. Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Do you consider or see that my face is towards the Qibla, Garba at Mecca? By Allah, neither your submissiveness nor your bowing is hidden from me. Surely, I see you from my back. Narrated Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, led us in a salah, prayer, and then got up on the pulpit and said, In your salah and rukur, bowing, I certainly see you from my back, as I see you while looking at you. Chapter on It is Permissible to Say Masjid, Mosque of Bani So and So. Narrated Abdullah bin Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, ordered for a horse race. The trained horses were to run from a place called Al Hafiyah to Khaniyah al Wada, and the horses which were not trained were to run from Al Thaniyah to the Masjid, Mosque of Bani Zuray. The sub narrator added, Ibn Iran was one of those who took part in the race. Chapter on the distribution of goods or wealth and the hanging of a cluster of dates in the mosque. Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him. Some goods or wealth was brought to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, from Bahrain. The Prophet, peace be upon him, ordered the people to spread them in the mosque. It was the biggest amount of goods or wealth Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, had ever received. He left for a salah, the prayer, and did not even look at it. After finishing a salah, he sat by those goods or wealth and gave from those to everybody he saw. Al-Abbas came to him and said, O oh Allah's Messenger, give me something too, because I gave ransom for myself and Aqeel. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, told him to take. So he stuffed his garment with it and tried to carry it away, but he failed to do so. He said, O oh Allah's Messenger, order someone to help me in lifting it. The Prophet, peace be upon him, refused. He then said to the Prophet, peace be upon him, Will you please help me to lift it? Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, refused. Then Al-Abbas threw some of it and tried to lift it, but failed. He again said, O oh Allah's Messenger, order someone to help me to lift it. He refused. Al-Abbas then said to the Prophet, peace be upon him, Will you please help me to lift it? He, peace be upon him, again refused. Then Al-Abbas threw some of it and lifted it on his shoulders and went away. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, kept on watching him till he disappeared from his sight and was astonished at his greediness. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, did not get up till the last coin was distributed. Chapter on receiving an invitation to dinner in the mosque and accepting it. Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, I found the Prophet, peace be upon him, in the mosque along with some people. He said to me, Did Abu Talha send you? I said, Yes. He said, For a meal? I said, Yes. Then he said to his companions, Get up. They set out and I was ahead of them. Chapter on to give the judicial verdicts in the mosque and to perform the Allah'ah between men and women, husbands and wives there. Footnote, the word Allah'ah means an oath which is taken by both the wife and the husband when he accuses his wife of committing illegal sexual intercourse. The Quran, Surah An-Nur, chapter 24, verse 6 to 9. Narrated Sahal bin Sa'ad, may Allah be pleased with him. A man said, O Allah's Messenger, if a man finds another man with his wife committing adultery, should the husband kill him? Later on, I saw them, the man and his wife, doing liran in the mosque. 
Chapter on if someone enters a house, should he offer prayers where he likes or as he is told, and he should not look out to seek information about the place or do spying. Narrated Uthban bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet peace be upon him came to my house and said, where do you like me to offer salah, prayers? I pointed to a place. The Prophet peace be upon him then said, Allahu Akbar, and we aligned behind him, and he offered a two rakar prayer. Chapter on about taking the mosques in the houses. And Al-Bara bin Azim offered salah, prayers, in the mosque in his house with other people in congregation. Narrated Ithban bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, who was one of the companions of Allah's Messenger peace be upon him, and one of the Ansar, who took part in the battle of Badr. I came to Allah's Messenger peace be upon him and said, O Allah's Messenger, I have weak eyesight, and I lead my people in salah, prayers, when it rains, the water flows in the valley between me and my people, so I cannot go to their mosque to lead them in salah. O Allah's Messenger, I wish you would come to my house and offer salah in it, so that I could take that place as a musalla, appointed place for salah. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, If Allah will, I will do so. Next day, after the sun rose high, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, and Abu Bakr came, and Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, asked for permission to enter. I gave him permission, and he did not sit on entering the house, but said to me, Where do you like me to offer salah? I pointed to a place in my house. So Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, stood there and said, Allah Akbar. And we all got up and aligned behind him, and offered a two waqar prayer, and ended it with the sleep. We requested him to stay for a meal called Khazira, which we had prepared for him. Many members of our family gathered in the house, and one of them said, Where is Malik bin ad or Ibn ad One of them replied, He is a hypocrite and does not love Allah and his Messenger. Hearing that, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Do not say so. Haven't you seen that he said, La ilaha illallah, none has the right to be worshipped but Allah, for seeking Allah's countenance, that is, for Allah's sake only. He said, Allah and His Messenger know better. We have seen Him helping and advising hypocrites. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon Him, said, Allah has forbidden the hellfire for those who say, La ilaha illallah. None has the right to be worshipped but Allah, for seeking Allah's countenance. That is, for Allah's sake only. Chapter on while entering the mosque, etc. One should start with the right foot. And Abdullah bin Umar used to enter the mosque by putting in his right foot first, and while leaving he used to put out his left foot first. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, the Prophet peace be upon him used to start everything from the right side, whenever it was possible in all his affairs, for example, in washing, combing, or wearing shoes. Chapter on Is it permissible to dig the graves of pagans of the period of ignorance, and to use that place as a mosque? And the saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him, Allah cursed the Jews, because they build the places of worship at the graves of their prophets. And what is said regarding the disapproval of offering salah, prayer, at graves. And Umar saw Anas bin Malik offering salah at a grave and shouted, The grave, the grave, meaning do not offer salah there. But he did not order him to repeat his salah. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, Ummi Habiba and Ummu Salama, may Allah be pleased with them, mentioned about a church they had seen in Ethiopia in which there were pictures. They told the Prophet about it, on which he, peace be upon him, said, If any religious man dies amongst those people, they would build a place of worship at his grave and make these pictures in it. They will be the worst creature with Allah on the day of resurrection. Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, when the Prophet peace be upon him arrived at al Madinah, he dismounted at the upper side of al Madinah amongst the tribe called Bani Amr bin Arf. He stayed there for 14 nights. Then he sent for Bani al najjal and then came armed with their swords. As if I am looking just now, as the Prophet peace be upon him was sitting over his Rahila mount with Abu Bakr riding behind him and all Bani al najjal around him till he dismounted at the courtyard of Abu Ayyub's house. 
The Prophet peace be upon him loved to offer salah, prayer, whenever the time for salah was due, even at sheepfolds. Later on, he ordered that a mosque should be built and sent for some people of Bani al Najal and said, O Bani al Najal, suggest to me the price of this walled piece of land of yours. They replied, No, by Allah, we do not demand its price except from Allah. Anas added, There were graves of pagans in it, and some of it was unlevel, and there were some date palm trees in it. The Prophet peace be upon him ordered that the graves of the pagans be dug out, and the unleveled land be leveled, and the date palm trees be cut down. So all that was done. They aligned these cut date palm trees towards the qibla of the mosque as a wall, and they also built two stone side walls of the mosque. His companions brought the stones while reciting some poetic verses. The Prophet peace be upon him was with them, and he kept on saying, there is no goodness except that of the hereafter. O oh Allah, so please forgive the Ansar and Al-Muhajar, the immigrants.